Hey everyone, here today with a very special guest. This is Sarah Dicci, Rhymes with Peachy. Mm-hmm. And she is a filmmaker, a YouTuber here in New York, and we're filming in her workspace. Mm-hmm. Today we're going to talk about workspaces and the impact and the importance they can have as part of the creative process. Because you have a series called Creative Spaces mm-hmm. TV, which is amazing. And Thank you. tell us a bit more about it. Yes, yeah, so it was one of my first docu-series I started, and it started as a way for me to just practice filmmaking, right. but I was also fascinated by shows like Cribs. Did you watch yes. Cribs? Okay, so MTV Cribs is one of my favorite shows, but they would show 50 Cent's house, but instead of showing his studio and highlighting that, they would show you what's in his fridge. I'm like, right. I don't care, I wanna show see his process. Yeah. Show me the microphone, <laughs> show me the tools he's creating with. It was a good way to make something that I wanted to watch, but also selfishly, it was a good way for me to get better at making videos. Yeah, so yeah. Sure. Basically goes into a designer, filmmakers, photographer space, shows you how they do, what they do, and where they do it. It's a really great series, and I love that you showed like a huge range of not only different studios, whatever, but also the types of creatives in them. Yeah. We are filming right now in your workspace. Yes. So you have your own studio, yeah. which I'm very jealous of because I live in a one bedroom apartment in London <laughs> and I basically don't ever leave my living room. Tell us about your workspace. Yeah. It's under construction. And it's funny, <laughs> when she texted me about this, I was like, Ooh, <laughs> the timing. <laughs> because it's currently under a renovation. Mm-hmm. Uh, because I, I think it is so valuable to have a space that is easy to collaborate with people. Yeah. Sometimes it does get weird, especially since I started a podcast. So I am collaborating with a lot more people. And we just on filmed a, a podcast, basis. by the way. So yes. go check that out. Yes. Yeah. Um, and it starts to get weird when you're inviting people to your home. Mm. And so I really do think it's that like next step of yeah. process professionalism or whatever yeah. um, and it's also super helpful for me to have that separation yes to get up put on my backpack and like go to work almost. put on actual clothes too yes yeah. very often I just live in sweatpants yes yeah. because yeah. for <laughs> creative types uh, a lot of us people are freelancers mm-hmm. and there isn't a set in stone schedule which is one of the best things but can be also one of the worst things yeah because sometimes you end up in the same space for like a week. Yeah. And a lot of good things come from being out in the world. Yeah, it does. You've got this like a commute now, technically, that you've given to yeah. yourself, which is funny because a lot of us become self employed or, you know, want the freedom to, to not avoid have that. Yeah. But you're right. I, I think I would like to have this separation mm-hmm. because I think it would help me relax more to have a space that I'm working that is very separate from the mm-hmm. space that I'm just like chilling out in on mm-hmm. the weekends. Yeah. Yeah, because when I get here, I'm like, like, get off of YouTube, stop slacking, it's time to go yeah, to work. Yeah, you're in your office. Yeah, and I think the another big aspect to it is also being in an environment that other creators are in. Right. So that's also why I chose a specific space, because there's so many YouTubers around, and you have that community that sometimes is really hard to find when you are a freelancer. Yes. I think it is really important to have conversations with like-minded people, to Mm -hmm. collaborate with like-minded people, and putting yourself in a space where that happens, sometimes you have to have the intention, like intentionality of going to a physical space regularly that helps that. What are some of the like ingredients for an ideal workspace Mm -hmm. for you? Like what are your plans for the space Mm -hmm. and that's gonna make it the ideal workspace? So I think it changes from person to person. So you have to know what's important to you. But for me, I love having a desktop set up to edit Mm -hmm. on. I have become, I I do travel more and stuff. So my workflow has moved to a laptop. Yeah. However, I love getting into like either it's an edit with an ultra wide monitor where I can, you know, like have a super long premiere timeline or even like the dual screens. I use dual screens a lot. Mm-hmm. Right now I'm like building a beast of a PC cool. that's going to be like the place where when I have big edits, I'm going to sit down yeah. and crank through them. So I think it starts one at just like your ultimate desk setup. Yeah. Like what is yes. that? And then the second most important thing is just like organization. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't have to be the prettiest thing, but just things in drawers that are properly labeled. So that you can find them when you need them. Exactly. You don't want barriers to keep you from making that video or making that website. Okay, what about, that's like the functional side of a workspace. 
We've got some art sitting over here. Yeah. We've got a neon sign on, on the wall over here. Mm-hmm. How important is the decor of a workspace to you? I think it's fun when decor reflects who you are as a person. Yeah, I like that too. And especially when you film things, mm-hmm. I think it really helps the audience kind of just like get you. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I, I love art and I think it's super fun to have things that you're going to have for a really long time. Yeah. It's super tempting to like buy that poster at Ikea, but like I've gone through a lot of art like that. Right. As creators, as designers out there, I think it's really cool to support other artists as well. I love that too. Yes. Yes. So that has been really fun for me because as I fill out the space, as I fill out my apartment, I'm really getting to like look at my designer friends and also my photographer friends of, oh my gosh, she's selling that really cool print. I, I see that she does those doodles. How cool would it be to like have that in my space? And that adds unique personality and it supports artists. Yes, I agree. I love doing yeah. that. I have like a print wall in my living room, mm-hmm. which is also my workspace. It makes for a good background. Yeah, yeah, that too. Yeah. And I like to fill it with stuff that I love, even that maybe I've made it myself even mm-hmm. because I do that sometimes. I, I have prints or yeah, supporting friends, supporting other artists in, mm-hmm. in work that I love. I think that's super important. And that's what makes it more inspiring for me too because it's not just what it looks like it's like yeah. no this was a person who's like making a thing and you get to really yeah cool. and you get to yeah. be like oh man how is that how can that inspire yeah. my work and yeah I, I really enjoy that just having like a neon sign in here that I documented yeah. the making of that's really cool as well because every time I see that I think about the people who made it mm-hmm. I think about the video I made I think about the conversation that was created around it so Meaningful art. Yeah, meaningful art. Doesn't have to cost a lot of money. What about plants? I look around and I do not see any. Okay, so plants? (laughs) Why are they funny? (laughs) Okay, so here's the thing. I used to have a ton of plants in my apartment. Mm -hmm. I killed all of them. Oh no. (laughs) I think they're super productive (laughs) and healthy for an environment if you can maintain them. Mm -hmm. But they caused me so much stress just yeah. by maintaining them because I'd always go out of town, keeping yeah. them out of Like, it was so not worth it mm-hmm. to me. Fair enough. So, at my apartment, I have a lot of fake plants. Oh, okay. To where they add to the aesthetics, they don't serve the purpose of like putting oxygen. more yeah. oxygen in here. <laughs> you know, that's, I think, why people like plants. But yeah, so this office, no place for plants. Right. I'm like, All no, work, no, no responsibility. <laughs> outside of doing the work there you go okay that makes sense yeah i'm trying to get more plants into my space i have Mm -hmm. this one tree thing that only needs watering about once a week that's so that that's a good good one for me but i i I can't keep up with oh i had a cactus oh and you killed that dead oh no (laughs) dead so we don't have any pets do you no okay but see okay i had a video talking about um like i i I love cats yeah same cat person total cat person cat person (laughs) I grew up with cats. I adore them. And I was having this exchange with John, my boyfriend, about like getting a cat and, oh, but too much responsibility. I can barely keep a plant alive. So many people in the comments were like, hey, cats, dogs, they let you know when they're hungry. True. They let plants you know when they have to. Plants do not. So it's the plant's fault is what we're it's saying. It's the plant's fault. <laughs> We've covered like the tech equipment, the desk setup. I agree, starting with the desk makes mm-hmm. sense and building out the rest from there. Uh, it's just a place yeah. for collaboration. Yeah. I think it's super important because that's one of the main reasons why I got this space mm-hmm. was for collaboration to almost be effortless. Yeah. I think that's a big point of an office is to just make things easy. Make things easy yeah. and make being creative easy and have yeah. a place that you can be social with people. Because a lot of times I shoot, edit, repeat, and that's it. Mm-hmm. So it's cool to have a space. Like, yeah, come over. Come over. Let's yeah. just hang out or make a video or do whatever. Well, I love your workspace, even though it is under You'll have renovation. to come back. We'll have to do a part two when it's finished. There we go. And I'm sure you'll be showing people around it on your channel once yes. it's all done. Oh, so, yes. Oh, yes. Make sure you head on over and subscribe to Sarah if you haven't already. She makes amazing videos about tech and you know life in new york as well yeah yeah they're, Showing they're that to watch. create a process that's exactly. why i love your channel so much oh, oh, oh. because <laughs> i'm not a designer i can't design but i really appreciate people who are so good at their craft and i love showing the process so right you're amazing too oh thank you thank you thank for you. having me <laughs> <laughs> thank you for being here and for sharing your thoughts 
If you have any particular thoughts about what makes an ideal workspace for you, leave them down below in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. Because like you said, it is personal for everyone. Yeah. So mm -hmm. what's one element that you have to have in a workspace? Let us know. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!